his work subtle. Seems I'm not the only one making a house call tonight. The new thief may be fully adorned with a mystical story that sees the main character Garrett waking up in a much darker version of his familiar world with a discolored eye and uncanny abilities. When it comes down to it, it's still all about sneaking around and taking all that glitters for your own. More extravagant than my usual masks. One for the collection. Never know when I'll be invited to a ball. We've seen the game in action several times now, and the overall feel of the stealth gameplay seems to have come together quite nicely. Guards seem to be behaving believably and competently, but with plenty of opportunities for Garrett to slip by. The swoop maneuver, which lets you quickly and silently cover a fixed distance in whichever direction you choose, is still a satisfying and effective stealth tool with a multitude of uses. You can swoop away from a man whose personal valuables you've just pilfered or swoop toward a low wall for a quick and stealthy ascent. Just be careful not to haphazardly swoop across a noisy surface like water. Like the older Thief games, a soft carpet is your ideal sneaking surface. While there's a large open city you'll be able to explore freely when you're not otherwise occupied, Thief tells its story through the progression of missions. An early trip through town surreptitiously takes you through a jewelry store, which as one would expect, contains some choice items. To get the combination to a safe, you'll need to peek at the contents of a letter which holds hints to the code. Whether this involves knocking out the jeweler is up to you. There are certainly many cases where the player's attentiveness is rewarded with some sort of advantage. Clues are often hidden in the environment and keeping a sharp eye out may give you an opportunity to use a rope arrow and gain the appreciable advantage of being above everyone else's eye level. We also encountered a situation where a rope arrow was required in order to gain entry to a lady's bedroom, one of the many optional missions which will let you test your skills and increase your wealth outside the bounds of the central narrative. In terms of challenge, the game offers quite a bit of help by default, but you can customize how much privileged information the game shows you, whether it's providing waypoints to your nearest objective or signaling treasure with a telltale glint. If you find certain elements giving you the sense that you're thieving by numbers rather than living by your wits, you can turn each individual element off. If you so desire, you can even make it harder by disabling elements like the focus abilities that let you highlight important objects, slow time, or enhance your lockpicking skills. Our most recent look at the game is extremely encouraging after experiencing a few rough spots with earlier versions. We'll decide Garrett's true worth when Thief is released for consoles and PC in late February.